Hey guys, what's going on? Joshua Elder here. Welcome back to the channel. And today in this video, I wanna do something a little bit different. This channel is typically about business tips, personal development advice, how to generate wealth, how to make money. But today I wanna to talk about something a little bit different. I wanna talk about Tiger Woods and his finish at the 2018 PGA Championship. And I think this is going to be relatable to anybody that's watching my channel. Um, if you don't know who Tiger Woods is, you may be living under a rock. Maybe you don't follow golf. It's not an insult to you, but he's arguably the greatest golfer of all time. And I'm gonna get into the story a little bit more about really why I wanted to shoot this video on the story of Tiger Woods. I'm no Tiger Woods expert, but I do know what he's been through. I have been paying attention to the news over the course of the past few years and his golf game and really what's happened to his personal life and his, uh, his golf game. So if you're excited for this video, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe to the channel because right now I'm uploading videos on a daily basis teaching you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. So give me a like and let's dive into the content. So Tiger Woods, just today I watched the ending of the match today. It was a fourth round at the PGA Championship and he ended up taking second in this major. You might be thinking, well, it's, of course it's Tiger Woods. Well, if you know what he's been through in recent years and a lot of this, you know, a lot of the things that have taken place, he put on himself, not saying that he's a victim or anything, but just the hero's journey of where he was at before when he was in his prime, when he was winning majors left and right, when he was at the top of his game, when he felt like he was invisible, he couldn't be touched. You know, he, he came crashing down. The universe reminded him who he was, that he's human, that he's not a robot, that he's not going to be at the top of his game forever. And all these different things happened in the tabloids. You know, he ended up cheating on his wife with a bunch of different women. He ended up getting addicted to pain pills, alcoholism. He, you know, got pulled over, went to jail, being under the influence. He ended up having injuries to his knee, to his back, had a titanium plate put in his back. And he looked like he was done. He tried to come back over the course of the past five years, I believe. Didn't really make much headway. And we thought this was the end for Tiger Woods. We thought that he was washed up. And this year, he got that fire in his belly back again. The Tiger Woods of old. He had a few top 10 finishes, came close in a couple majors to being a contender. And then today, he takes second behind Kepka for the PGA Championship. Now, if you look at this guy's journey, man, you, you can argue, yeah, he was at the top of his game. But most people, any normal person that goes through these trials and tribulations, they pretty much count themselves out. But Tiger Woods, no. I mean, that guy is tenacious. That guy is persistent. That guy is consistent. I look at Tiger Woods and I understand his mindset. He knows that the only way out is to be at the top of his game. Because when you define yourself as the best golfer in the world, and you're no longer the best golfer in the world. How can you, how do you identify yourself? I think that's hard for a lot of athletes to do. You know, there's really no plan B, especially if you look at the Michael Jordans, the Kobe Bryants, the LeBron James, we're talking basketball, Tiger Woods and golf. You know, um, all these guys have one thing in common. They make a decision and they don't have a plan B. They have a plan A. They do whatever it takes. A lot of people in business, they have this safety net. Oh, you know, if my, you know, online business doesn't work out or if this new startup doesn't work out, I can fall back on a day job. And you're doing yourself a disservice by having a plan B because you're already telling yourself, you're already telling your subconscious that you're not all in, that you're not going to give it your all. You know, and I, and I saw Tiger Woods today and he's like, I will be at the top of my game today. I knew this early on a couple months ago. He knew that. He knew that he was going to 
be great again. Because to be great again, you have to already have that made up in your mind. It's this conditioning over time where I know Tiger Woods, he'd wake up, he'd say, you know, I got these circumstances, I got this titanium plate in my back. There's no one in the history of golf that's had this type of surgery that's been able to really come back. I think it was roughly a year ago, he could barely get out of bed. And now this guy, he's, he's back where he was at in early 2000s, 1999, 2000. Now I'm not saying he's like quite there yet, but he's getting there. So what can we learn from Tiger Woods? I think the real thing is number one, when you make a decision, when you really make a decision, chips are all in, right? Another thing that we can learn from Tiger Woods is that he's got an incredible work ethic. He looks at progress he doesn't look at perfection, which is another thing that successful people across all boards do. They don't look at the end goal. They don't get overwhelmed by the end goal. They look at the steps to that end goal, right? They compete against themselves. They don't compare themselves to others. And I knew with Tiger Woods, especially when it comes to the game of golf, when you're on that golf course, it's an individual sport, just like in business, business, building a business is an individual sport. Yeah, you have a team, but at the end of the day, you make all the decisions. It's up to you. And you've got to blur out all of the sound. You've got to put a deaf ear to the negativity. He put a deaf ear to the tabloids. He put a deaf ear to the naysayers. The person that knows Tiger Woods the best is himself. No one could tell him otherwise that he was not the greatest in golf, that he wasn't going to be the greatest again. So who are you letting determine your future? Who are you letting determine your outcome in your life? Whatever area it may be in. At the end of the day, when you lay your head down to bed at night, you get to determine your future. You get to determine how you feel. You get to determine how you react. You get to write the chapter of your life. Just because the previous chapter said that you had coaches that told you weren't good enough, that you had teachers that told you weren't good enough, that you had parents that told you you weren't smart enough or you weren't good enough, doesn't mean you can't tell yourself that you're good enough because sometimes the only good things that you're going to hear are the things that you tell yourself. And this is what I've learned from Tiger Woods over the years. He doesn't care about anybody else's opinion except his, his, his own opinion when it comes to his game and very well when it comes to a lot of parts of his personal life. So I wanted to shoot this quick video to illustrate the hero's journey. If somebody like Tiger Woods can go from being at the top to the bottom and to the top again and sort of reinvent himself and redefine himself, then you have the ability to rewrite your future. Who you are today doesn't have to be the person that you are tomorrow. We're human. We make mistakes. We first got to forgive ourselves and then move on. And that's exactly what Tiger Woods did. And he took second at the PGA Championship, lost by two strokes. And I'm excited to see this guy continue to get better and be at the top of his game again. And I hope you can use this as a lesson in your life, in your business. If you got value from this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. Do you think Tiger Woods, do you think this is the best that Tiger Woods is going to be. Do you think Tiger Woods is at the top of his game right now? Do you think he's going to win a major this next year, 2019? I would love to hear your comments below. Also, maybe you don't watch golf. Tell me what you might have learned about yourself. 
you know, in the comments below based off of this discussion. Would love to hear you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Josh Elder signing off, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.